on the internet, people who give advice about how you should live your life mm -hmm. almost never are qualified to do so. It's like my personal contention that there has never been any relationship advice given on the internet where the person had any right whatsoever to do it. <laughs> like nobody checks these people's relationships to make sure that they're qualified, I don't think. Um, but if we are gonna take life advice from somebody, AOC seems to have it all together, okay. pretty much. So she's got some <laughs> advice. Uh, this is from a, like a, an interview last week with the Skullduggery podcast. And so she was talking about social media and okay. how she has given up Facebook and she explains, um, I personally gave up Facebook, which was kind of a big deal because I started my campaign on Facebook and Facebook was my primary digital organizing tool for a very long time. I gave up on it. I actually think that social media poses a public health risk to everybody. There are amplified impacts for young people, particularly children under the age of three with screen time. But I think it has a lot of effects on older people. I think it has effects on everybody, increased isolation, depression, anxiety, addiction, escapism. And she apparently started to impose little rules about her social media use like curtailing her consumption of content on weekends. She still writes her own Twitter and Instagram posts. I've actually noticed that she doesn't tweet as much on the weekends now. And I think that's a great idea for her. To keep I, together her sanity. I think so too. And I think there was something like pointed out in one of these articles about this how it takes longer than two days to fully feel the effects of a difference on your mind if you mm -hmm. um, take social media out. But I don't think the average person gets the type of hate that she gets. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's healthy for any human to see that every day, even if you figure out a way to not internalize it. I just can imagine that like taking even an hour away from it mm -hmm. would be good for you. Mm -hmm. So I imagine that she needs to take two days and just not look at it because it's just attacks and attacks and attacks. And we always talk about how ridiculous it is that um, verified people get um, like get in on like these stupid arguments. Mm -hmm. like. But she actually gets attacked by not only just verified people, but actual politicians, the president, mm -hmm. senators, other like you know. Uh, it is so. always weird when when like I think that near Tandon, she was engaged in some online argument, and someone responded, "Near Tandon, you're arguing with a grad student at 1:30." It's just like that's, <laughs> that's kind of weird, actually. It's a good point. <laughs> um, everything that you're saying about the the hate that you get and the arguments you can get in is right, but I actually think that even if you don't get the hate. I think it's still even the need to post. Like being on there and absorbing a lot can be too much. Yeah. But if, if, especially on face on, on sorry, on Twitter, if you feel like you need to be engaging in all these things, like if there's an event happens, I feel like I have to post about it. I don't think that that's positive either. I, I think agree that, that you should be like if you're engaging in these things, it should be because you actually want to, not out of a feeling of obligation for whatever reason. And so I will say personally, I stay on Facebook only because I don't care about Facebook. It doesn't affect me in any way, so I don't feel like I need to avoid it. Some people's families, I guess, are they fight more than mine do. I don't get a lot of hate on Facebook or anything in that regard. With Twitter, there's a very big part of me that wishes I could get off of it. Because I do rage on Twitter sometimes, and I look at all of the people who just all of their activity is like replying angrily to people. A lot of the people who reply to me are like that, and I just think, how happy could you possibly be if this is how you choose to spend your time? But I can't, partially because I'm a little bit addicted, but also because of the job. Like, yeah, you are you're really involved. bad at unplugging. Like, I remember, I, th I think it was the beginning of the year. You went on a vacation. And we're like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try not to tweet, and I think you lasted two hours. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, you send emails really early in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. I do. I'm like addicted to work. I am. Addicted. I sent you an email. I was like, she'll get this when she wakes up. And there was a reply after like two minutes. I was like, why is anyone other than me awake at this time? <laughs> um, it was like fast. <laughs> um, I, uh, my Facebook is just beautiful. It's great. I'll never get off Facebook because I will delete you from my page at the slightest disagreement. Oh yeah. Because sure, I'm open to like different opinions, but I don't think racism and support of that and sexism is um, a difference of opinion. Mm -hmm. And so just at the slightest, like oh, I don't really like the way you're thinking. It's fine. I just delete you because Facebook for me is about like seeing people that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. And if I don't enjoy your rants, I don't want, my Facebook page is not a democracy. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, so I follow, you know, a lot of different like news organizations and things like that. It's a cheer tatorship. It's really, yes. it's Facebook. It's supposed to be fun. It's social media and it's fun. If I don't care about you or your kids, I, I, 
you. I'll unfollow you. Mm -hmm. Not that I don't, you know what I mean? It's just like, I don't, I don't care. Like, yeah. you know, I want to see only like my cousin's kids. Like, you know, I don't know. Like, I don't, there's some Like a random friend from first like, grade. We don't need to be Facebook friends. I don't know yeah. you. You I know what stuff like that. I, I just, don't, that, that sounds for so me, bad. Sometimes it's easier to keep people than to go through the stress <laughs> of deleting them or whatever. By the way, you know when someone has broken through, as you were talking about your strategy, all I could hear was Marie Kondo. <laughs> like your Clean posts do not bring me joy, <laughs> so I will cut you Clean out. Clean it up. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So I, I have cut out to the extent that I can. I haven't posted on Instagram in a while just because I'm bored. Even though Instagram is like the most positive social media outlet uh, in existence, but AOC, whatever you got to do to keep it together. I'm all for it. I listen. I just cleaned up people. Clean, clean, clean. It was really easy. The first two, the first election when Obama was elected, easy. I went down, lost fifty percent of my page. I'm from Oklahoma. Uh -huh. Then the second were one, were some of them white? <laughs> <laughs> then the second page, the second election. Then it was like, okay, some people got, you know, they snuck through. Okay, and then I think the last oh, time geez. was when the guy from Duck Dynasty was talking about Pat Rob no. his like homophobia. It was like really weird, and like there was like some anti-black sentiments in what he was saying. And I think one or two. people people were defending him and I was like, oh, delete, delete. Now everything, whenever something mm. big or tragic happens, it's only positive, yeah. amazing, smart people yeah. and it feels good. Yeah, Facebook is a break for me. Yeah, I have some some family. I still read YouTube comments, so like I still get your crazy YouTube opinions. YouTube comments? I do, yeah, I'm entertained oh by Oh my them. God. I'm entertained by some of the insults too, it's funny to me. I read them out loud, Jeez. sometimes they're funny. YouTube comments are crazier than the writings of H.P. Lovecraft. <laughs> like it's just, <laughs> what is that? it's just, it's a beast of a thousand mouths <laughs> eating itself in a thousand ways. That's all it is. It's consuming <laughs> itself. <laughs> um, it's like it's it's a it's a human centipede of one. That basically, is, so is what's funny. going on. It's eating and pooping simultaneously f at all times. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full damage report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.